this uh, grill here. It wasn't very, it wasn't hard, but the company could have done a lot better with the instructions and marking the parts so that way we know exactly what part they're talking about when they say part seven. So, uh, I mean, that'd be the only recommendation. Also, there is the, uh, the bolt grommets, I guess you would call them bolt rivets or whatever, because it's mostly rivets with threaded rivets where you can screw the bolts through. I'll show you guys in a second what I'm talking about. Um, two of them on that side were completely missing. So the side panel, like what you see down here underneath the, uh, the side panel down here, isn't fully attached. Let me move the tripod and I'll show you guys. But, you know, overall, it seems like a pretty good grill. Can't wait to light it up. I don't have any fish today to put on it, but uh, I do have a few hot dogs and some, some sausage we'll throw on it for this evening because it's already getting late. Uh, we'll go ahead and use the gas side. I'm not sure if I'm going to... Why not? I got charcoal, and uh, we'll light up the charcoal side and maybe even go to the store and get some more meat, maybe some ribs or some chicken or something like that, and then cook on the grill. So uh, let's just take a look see what we got here. Man. Long for me, this is the charcoal side or wood burning side. This is the gas side. Uh, and then we got three three burners on the gas side. Fully adjustable. You can adjust your heat with the uh, fire here. Get it closer to the grate or further away. Just make sure it's a stove problem that seems to be hitting. on both no side burners so there will be no sides being done on this one if I do it in the grill itself um, thermometers for both sides propane tanks are hooked up storage on the other side there could figure out how the uh, grease pan for the gas side went on I'll figure it out down the line uh, it's probably the only piece that's not assembled that and the wheel covers I haven't put on yet um, but overall everything else is uh I think I may have installed this wrong probably put most left. There we go. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that was right. This is not good. Okay. And knife. Let's grill. side panel I was talking about right here it's supposed to have rivets let's see if we can see any see how these are this side and that side over there had them but the two holes there and there's the outside holes this one and the one down here uh, they don't have them looks like they may have been pulled out or they fell out they went inside the tube or anything like that but I can't I can't fasten that so it is what it is so uh, we're gonna go ahead and burn something in it. I'm gonna go ahead and season up the uh, the grates, the cast iron grates. It'd have been nice if they were stainless like the warmers, but that's fine too. We'll put a little virgin olive oil on them. Go ahead and heat this up. Uh, I may just do it on the gas side so we don't waste any charcoal. So I'll just bring those grates over here and just do it all together. You heat them up and I'll show you guys how to do that. <laughs>
smoke sizes on the grill. You're sitting the grill warm, we're gonna turn we're gonna turn this off for now so I find something else to cook. Yeah, it's all split open. That's good. I'm making a mess. But uh, yeah, got the grill completed. Got it heated up, got it seasoned and everything already. Got some asparagus over here on this side. Cooking, can you guys see? It's a big pile of asparagus. It's a lot of us never really liked it, so that's what we're gonna do. And uh, also have these, uh, Hope this light's good enough. These Magnum grill covers. I've got some, you can't see them. Let me see if we can adjust the light here. Or maybe not. Let's see. Yeah, but they're kind of like a, these Teflon sheets. Throw those on the grill. Works great for fish or anything that you don't want falling in between the grill. We'll go ahead and close that and keep that heat in there. We've got this uh, down about 400, 450. So, Two tips for, for when you're grilling steaks. Never cook it cold, straight out of the refrigerator, let it sit on the counter, let it get room temperature before you put it on the grill. Uh, don't overdo it with the seasoning. Uh, salt and pepper is perfect for any good beef. Um, if you want to put a little bit of something on it, I've got a little something that I've been, been trying to uh, show you guys. Let's see if we can adjust this light so we can actually see. And uh, yeah, ordered some of this Everglade seasoning from Florida. I've been hearing a lot about it. I've been watching a lot of guys out there with their catching cooks and they're using a lot of it. We usually use Tony's and Creole seasoning here and the veterans. But I uh, wanted to give this a try and so far I like it. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to let that cook. Probably about three minutes, flip it, do another three minutes, and then they'll be done. Let them pull them out, let them rest. Kids like this well done, so they'll probably sit on here a little longer. But literally. <laughs> For their meat, don't ever do that. Especially when you're searing, when you're searing your meat. Let's go ahead and pull these two up. And let this sit over here and rest on the cone. on camera see. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and change the angle. We're gonna get close in just a second. Smoke's making it go out of focus. That's still really hot. But here's what the butter is for. Not only just the base, the uh look at that.
Look at those. Let those sit there for a minute. Surf and turf dinner for six right there. Man.